Our team coverage moves to New Six's Nadine Giannis. And Nadine, this is just the latest attack on the Jewish community that we have seen in just recent months. Lisa, it was just a few months ago that a similar group was right out here shouting the same vile messages out of the Jewish Community Center of the Greater Orlando. We saw flyers being passed out in Brevard County just last week. We're speaking to leaders of the Jewish community today. They used words like disgusting, sad, and quite frankly, frightening. The scenes of swastikas on I-4 to Nazi salutes in Waterford Lakes, as seen in this video now being investigated by OCSO, has Orlando's Jewish leaders reacting in shock and horror. You find it necessary to, to, to spend an afternoon trying to intimidate people. Like, how sad is that? Including Rabbi Chaim Lipsker with Chabad at UCF, supporting a UCF student who was attacked over the weekend, he says. They pepper sprayed him and they... They, they spit on him and, you know, shoved him around and stuff like that. I don't think it's worse, like, more people. I just think it's people aren't afraid. The people that do harbor these feelings, for some reason, aren't afraid to, to, say, to voice those things. In response? It's not a time to back off and be afraid. That's playing into their hands. To the contrary, it's time to be prouder and share the values of Judaism, Judaism. Handing out these Jewish scrolls to UCF students today. The things we've been doing in response is try to get more Jewish people, in our case, since we work mostly with students, to get Jewish students to put them on their doors. And Meanwhile, in Maitland, at the Roth Jewish Community Center of Greater Orlando, armed security stays put. It's shocking. Um, it's sad. It's disappointing. It's offensive. It was earlier this month we reported threats continued here protesting incredibly vile statements, incredibly vile chants filled with hatred. Followed by these flyers popping up in Melbourne last week. Leaders here believing anti-Semitism isn't just growing, but it's getting louder. The Jewish community, like what solutions are out there? What can we do? It's about understanding that yes, we may look different. We may have different beliefs. We may have different faiths, but we're all human beings and we all matter, and we all need to work together to stop hate. And it's important to note that our Jewish leaders are informed on these kinds of groups. They say, though a few might be local, for the most part, they're not a representation of Orlando. These folks travel around the state just to spew this kind of hate. Live in Maitland tonight, I'm Nadine Giannis, getting results news 6. Nadine, thank you. The